Hello my lovely mermaids, mga sis ko! Welcome back to my channel! And for today's video, ang gagawin natin ay isasum up natin yung mga August favorites ko. So I have a few items here, mga makeup products, mga skincare products as well na share ko sa inyo na naging paborito ko this month. And aside from that, share ko rin sa inyo yung mga paborito kong pinapakinggang music, librong binasa, at kung ano-ano pa ngayong buwan ng August. Ang number one kong share sa inyo guys is yung favorite kong kinakainan lately this month of August, ilang beses yata ako nakabalik doon, is yung Gastro Pub sa May Capitolio. Alam nyo naman na uso lately yung mga ano, food yards where marami mga stalls, iba-ibang cuisine na yun, open air tapos yun, marami lang mga tables and you have to find your spot where to eat. At ang pinaka, uh, I think, pinaka famous ngayon is yung The Yard sa May Silverville. I already ate there and went there once. Pero nung second time na balik namin and third time, hindi kami natuloy because walang parking, sobrang dami ng tao. And nung natuloy naman kami, wala kami maupuan. Tapos medyo mainit na siya dahil nga siksikan yung mga tao and marami rin nga guyosi. So, since I don't smoke, I don't really like the smell of the smoke of cigarettes. So, malis na lang kami. And then, my friend suggested this um, gastro pub sa May Capitolio. So, we went there and we ate there. At sobrang nagustuhan ko na siya. Na-addict na talaga ako sa mga pagkain doon. Dahil bukod sa mura siya, napakasarap niya. Ang favorite kong kinakainan doon is yung Wok. Yun ang pangalan ng restaurant niya sa my left side. It's a restaurant where um, doon yung location ng movie ni Gerald Anderson and Bay Alon. So, yung How to Be Yours po. Yun yung pinaka-stall ni Bay Alon. So, doon sa movie na yon. Ang pinaka-favorite kong kainin doon, guys, is yung Charkway Chow and yung Laksa nila. I think the Laksa is only 150 pesos and yung kanilang shark weight show is only 180 pesos. Sa labas niya actually, nung um, gastro pub, marami rin mga restaurants around it. Ang favorite ko naman kinakainan doon is yung kanto. Once lang ako nakakain doon but I tried their New Zealand beef tapa and their tuyo with kesong puti and it's really good guys. Meron din silang scrambled doon at kung ano-ano pong mga pagkain. Uh, ang pinaka tagline nila is all day breakfast so it's open 24 hours. Moving on mga sis ang share ko naman sa inyo ay yung dalawang YouTuber na singers na pinapakinggan ko a lot this month of August. Ang unang-una ay si Ruth Ann Mendoza. She's a girl and she plays guitar at ang ganda ng boses niya guys. Ang lamig lang pakinggan. She doesn't need to shout or scream para maabot yung note Magpiplay ako ng short bit ng clip niya guys para marinig nyo. Ang ipiplay ko sa inyo is yung favorite kong kinenta niya is yung All I Ask by Adele. So ayan, pakinggan nyo muna. Diba guys, napakaganda ng version niya. Ewan ko kung ako lang, pero ako talagang habang pinapakinggan ko yung naramdaman ko yung message ng kanta. And she's really good. Playing the guitar and singing that well, is, it must be a hard thing to do. Pero siya kayang-kaya niyang gawin at ang galing-galing niya. And ayun, ilalagay ko yung link nung YouTube niya down below if you really wanna check her out and listen to her music. Kung uh, wala lang kayong magawa and you just want to do sound tripping, then she's uh, one of the perfect YouTubers na Filipino ha, singers na pinapakinggan ko talaga sa pag gusto ko mag senti mode or kapag umuulan tapos gusto ko lang ng mga light music siya yung pinapakinggan ko or actually artista na siya ngayon or singer na siya ngayon na pinapakinggan ko um, her name is Kekal I don't know if you are familiar with her but she auditioned for uh, Pilipinas Got Talent before with her band Ezra Band and ngayon solo artist na siya and na, na actually na stumble upon ko siya habang pinapakinggan ko si Ruth Ann isa siya sa mga suggested video so ang unang-una kong video niya na napanood ko is yung kumanta siya ng uh, what do you call this um, Cool With You by Jennifer Love You With and ang ganda ng version niya guys. Ang ganda ng boses niya at nagigitara din siya. You remind me of days when you were mine
She actually sounds like Justin Bieber. Ines actually namin siya sa unang hit sa GMA7. At pati sila Miss Connie, pati sila Miss Lynching, talagang nagalingan sa kanya. That, nagpalakpakan talaga sila after niya kumanta at mag sa unang hit because kabosin niya talaga si Justin Bieber. For all the clubs you get in music money You think you broke my heart of oh, your forgiveness You think I'm crying all oh, my own life pakinggan yung mga songs niya sa YouTube, I search for her on Instagram and Facebook, and doon na-discover ko din, meron siya mga one-minute clips of her singing, some covers as well, at ang pinaka-favorite ko naman doon is yung ano niya, um, I Love You Always Forever, and yung um, Ikaw Ang Lahat Sa Akin cover niya. So, pa-play ko rin yung short bit doon para sa inyo ngayon. Ikaw ang lahat sa akin Kahit ni Kahit Di ko dapat ibigin Dapat pagdang lumuti You've got the most unbelievable blue eyes I've ever seen You've got me almost melting Oh, di ba guys? Napakaganda talaga ng boses niya. And she doesn't sound like a girl, actually. So, yung boses niya very masculine. Pero ang ganda ng atake niya sa mga notes. I mean, iniiba niya ng konti yung um, intonation, ganyan. I don't know if that's the right term. Naman ako musician or singer. Pero, you, you know what I mean, di ba? Parang iba yung atake niya sa song. Parang may fe yung feeling, parang mararamdaman mo. Yung mga links ng mga social media accounts na lalagay ko sa baba. Kasi I really wanna support Filipino artists just like I wanna support Filipino YouTubers and Filipino pro products as well. Next item on my August favorites naman guys, um, it's a book that I read on Wattpad. So, kung meron sa inyo mga nagbabasa ng Wattpad, you have to check this out guys. Ang title niya is Two Hearts. Ayan, makikita niyo sa screen yung tsura nung cover na ginawa ng author. And uh, the name of the author is simply underscore author. Just look for it on Wattpad guys and basahin niyo siya because ako, when I started reading it, hindi ko napansin, 8am na pala nagbabasa pa rin ako. So, na-addict talaga ako. In short, kung hindi talaga bumabagsak na yung mata ko, tatapusin ko talaga siya in one setting. Pero, yun, maganda yung pagkakasulat ng author and two thumbs up for you, Miss Reg. And, ayan, um, sana supportahan niyo siya. I think, um, there's the voting going on para mapasama siya sa isang awards. So, now, I'm going to proceed with the skincare products na my favorite ko this month of August. Ang number one is this snail mask for the face. So, I ordered this from my friend Eunice on Facebook. I'm going to put the link of her Facebook account down below. Just add her. Um, kasi marami siya mga pinupuso mga products every now and then. And this is one of them. Um, bili ko to, uh, 200 pesos for 10 pieces. So, it's just like 20 pesos to siya nakuha. So, napakamura niya. Tatlong um, variant yung binili ko, I think. Um, snail, collagen, and... Ano ba yung isa? Green tea ata yung binili ko. But this one is my favorite because... Um, after I apply it on my face, tapos iniwan ko siya overnight, pagkagising ko sa umaga, ang bright-bright ng skin ko, tapos parang nag-rosy pink yung cheeks ko. I don't know. I just really love this because, yun nga, yung effect niya sa akin na parang um, it really worked overnight on my face, yung pagbabad ng essence niya. The next item for my skincare favorites is this Magic Stone by April Skin. So, ayan, nakabox pa siya, pero nagamit ko na siya. I've been using it for almost a week now. So, ayan siya. Nagamit ko na siya, guys. I've been using it for almost a week now. And ito ang isura niya. Tinan nyo, kinot ko na yung konting part para hindi matunaw lahat kapag nasa CR siya. So, this is what it looks like. And one thing that I love about this product, guys, is the smell of it. It smells like a spa. Amoy pa lang nakaka-relax na, guys. And, um, kaya ko siya favorite this month because sa one week na paggamit ko nito, nag-brighten yung skin ko. At isa pa sa gusto ko sa kanya, guys, pagkatapos ako mag-wash ng face, walang parang feeling na binabanat yung mukha ko. Naramdaman nyo na ba yun, guys? Na after nyo mag-wash ng face using a cleanser, parang yung mukha nyo nakabanat siya. Or parang may suot ka na parang yung mask na hydroxy mask na parang ang tiga sa mukha. Yun. Kasi marami ako mga na-experience na cleansers, lalo-lalo na kapag soap type na ganito, hard soap type, ang ginagamit ko. After 
after I wash my face, ang tigas-tigas ng feeling ng mukha ko. This one, it doesn't leave my face feeling like that. There's no tingling sensation when I wash my face as well because my face is sensitive. And for the price naman, it's 700 pesos, guys. And... I think it's worth the money because matagal siyang matunaw and you can use it for a long time. Okay, moving on. Let's proceed to the makeup products that I have here. I actually just have six and three of them are brushes. So, ayan, iisa-isahin ko siya, guys. Unahin natin itong maliit na brush na to and if you watch my videos, you know what this is, guys. So, this is what I use to contour my nose. Ayan. I actually um, got this from my cousin Francel. Meron siya nung sampung pack nito, yung parang set. Uh, may mga face brushes, meron ding mga eye brushes. And ayon, um, I just got this one because I feel like it will be perfect for contouring the nose. And then when I tried it out, it's perfect. So I still have it right now because I haven't really um, bought my set yet. Um, Matangon sa man yung ilong ng pinsan ko, so niya kailangan mag contour. Ako kailangan ko talaga for my borga nose. So. Pinagkatiwala mo niya sa akin itong brush na to. So, thank you so much, my dear friends, huh, for this one. And then, the next brush that I have here is the Wet n' Wild Fan Brush. Okay, natin yung kanyang cover. I actually love this brush because it's perfect to apply my highlighter. Talaga nagsisit in siya sa skin ko very well. Ayan. I bought this for 250 pesos. And I think it's worth the price because sa iba, 280 siya or 300 plus. Nakikita ko. So, ito na yung pinakamurang price na nakita ko for this brush. And then, the last brush that I have here is the Zoeva um, 101 Lux Face Definer. I use this to contour my face. Kung makikita nyo naman yung shape niya, guys, talagang nag-sit in siya well. Dito sa my hollow part ng aking cheeks to blend my contour powder well. So, kung napanood niyo yung face contour video ko, you saw this brush as well. Gustong gusto ko siyang pinang-blend. Kasi I feel like hindi talaga siya nag-iiwan ng harsh lines sa aking mukha. So, ayan. So, way pa. Susunod naman, guys, is this Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder. I bought this powder, guys, at Watson's for 299 pesos, so 300 pesos, if you will round it up. Um, sobrang gusto ko siya, guys, kasi pag ginagamit ko siya, ang tagal mag-oily ng face ko. Um, so, ulitin ko lang sa mga bagong nanonood, my face is oily, so ang problema ko talaga after a few hours kung mag-apply ng foundation and siset ko yung mukha ko with a translucent powder or a setting powder, after a while, talagang nag-grease na, lalo na dito sa may gilid ng aking nose at dito sa may area dito. Yan ang madalas mag-oily sa akin. Pero pag ginagamit ko to, it will last like for a long time. Um, pinakamatagal na hindi ako nag-retouch when I use this one is 7 hours. So, this is a trusted um, setting powder for me. And also, kung ipiblend mo yung foundation with your blush and your contour, maganda din siyang ipang blend or ipang buff sa face. Kasi hindi niya na-fade yung mga kulay sa mukha mo. It just blends it out with the, your part ng face na hindi mo nalagyan ng mga contour and blush on. The next item that I have here is a liquid lipstick from um, Colourpop, of course. The Ultra Matte Lip. At ang kanyang shade ay Solo. And it's actually the one I'm wearing right now. So I've been wearing this lipstick for a good four hours now and I drank water and ate banana but and pa rin siya nagsistay pa rin siya nang ganyan ka bright. Yun isa sa mga nagustuhan ko sa liquid lipstick na to guys, this shade. Um hindi ako mahilig sa mga bright pinks at sa mga ang mga pink na parang nude because I feel like hindi bagay sa kulay ko. And uh, this one though, it's a different thing because when I tried it on, dun sa bahay ng pinsan ko because she has this shade, nagulat ako kasi it brightens up my look. Finally, the last item on my August favorites, guys, is this L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Foundation. Ayan. I bought this at Watson's for 700 pesos only and I think it's worth the money because marami siyang products sa loob and... Honestly, one pump lang siya. Kasha na siya sa buong mukha ko. Naku-cover niya na maigi yung aking face. So, the coverage is really good. And uh, for the price, it's really worth your money. Because yung 24 hours yung claim. I don't know if it's really 24 hours. But it really lasts a long time. It dries really matte. Gustong gusto ko rin siya mga sis. Because it keeps my face from being oily. And kasi yung mga ibang mga products na mga matte. It keeps your face from being oily. Pero nagkikake naman siya. Parang sa sobrang pagkamat niya, nag-dry out naman yung mukha ko. So, this one, it doesn't do that. That's why I love this product. Okay, the last item naman na nasa list ko for this month of August is an app, actually. And it is the Makeup Plus um, app. I discovered this app through Miss Anne Klutz. Ayan. Um, he never or... 
bihira akong gumamit ng mga apps like this sa mga selfie ko. And I don't put filter on my selfie. So, may, may, minsan sa Instagram lang, yung mga filters ng Instagram, ginagamit ko kapag ka upload ako. But, rarely I use mga ganitong app because it doesn't really look natural. Parang mukha talaga siyang peke na naglagay ng eyelashes or mukhang peke na naglagay ng contacts or yung lipstick parang mukhang fake na nilagay. Pero with this app, guys, it looks really natural. Promise. Parang mukha siyang hindi inedit. Hindi ka mukhang manigang whatever. Kasi may mga apps na ganun, diba? Nakatry na ako ng iba-ibang apps na, na like that. Pero parang, wow. <laughs> Binura ko rin agad kasi nga, it really doesn't work that well. Pero this one, look at this picture. Diba? Para talaga may contacts ako. Ayan. Mukha lang siyang natural na ng contact lens ako. If you don't know guys, frustration ko talaga magkari ng piercing eyes like Mila Kunis and Adriana Lima. Sila yung mga gusto kong mga mata. And hindi naman ako makapag-contact lens kasi yung mata ko sensitive sa mga ganun. Namumula siya tsaka nangangate. So hindi ako maka-wear ng contact lens. But finally, I discovered an app that will make me do this. So, kahit sa pangarap man lang, kahit sa ano man lang, selfie na inedit sa cellphone, magkaroon ako ng piercing blue eyes like them. So, ayan. Kaya ako siya favorite dahil actually dun sa contacts, ano nila, feature. If you're interested in downloading an, a makeup app, this is a good one, Makeup Plus. Um, you can download it on your Android or your um, iPhone. Meron din siyang ano, um, iOS version. So, this is not a sponsored video, guys. Ha? Hindi nila ako kinotak or anything. This is my personal opinion on this application. So, ayan mga sis. Tapos na tayo sa mga August favorites list ko. But before I end this video, I just want to do quick shoutouts sa mga people na ito. Um, I just want to say hi to Angel Between. Ayan, she followed me on, on Twitter and I had a small conversation with her. Hi, sweetheart. And also, I want to say to Angel Siren. So, ayan. Hello. And to um, my sis, um, Marjorie Sanders, siya yung mag ng admin kapag nakaisip na tayo ng pangalan ng group natin. Nag-iisip nga kami, pwedeng M's Mermaids or The Unicorns or ayan. Mag-suggest kayo sa comments down below kung ano magiging magandang pangalan ng family natin. At si Marjorie Sanders yung magiging admin natin dyan. So, I just wanna say hi to her. Hello, sis. And also, I wanna say to Chelly Tabinye. I don't know if I pronounce your name well, sweetheart. But, ayun, um, natouch ako sa message niya. Kasi sabi niya, nai-inspire daw siya sa akin. So, alam niyo naman, ultimate dream ko yan. Na maka-inspire. Thank you so much for that, sweetheart. Napasaya mo ako. And I also just wanna say hi to Patricia Flores. Hello, sister. And, lagi siya nag-ask ng shoutout from me. Pero, like, kung na-forget pag nag-film ako ng video. So, finally, ayan, masya-shoutout na kita, sweetheart. So, sorry about that, but this is it. Hello, and God bless you. And I also wanna say hi to Jasmine. Hello, sis. Thank you so much na lagi mong pagko-comment ng magagandang bagay sa mga videos ko. Lalo ko na-inspire gumawa ng videos because of you guys. So, that's it for this video, mga sis. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I love you so much, and God bless you. Until my next video, bye-bye.